been building a lot with the new Sims 4 castle kit recently, and the best spot to build with it, in my opinion, is right here in Windenburg, which comes with the Sims 4 get together. And with get together, there are a bunch of clubs that your Sims can be a part of, and a lot of them seem to be based off of stereotypes or cliques. Like for example, we have the renegades who love to cause mischief and mayhem. On the flip side, we've got the paragons who love perfection and getting coffee. And somewhere in the middle, we've got the party house. Their bio says party house is about one thing, partying and being a house. So two things, you gotta love it. So I thought it would be fun if we built tiny castles as like club hangouts for them and they're gonna be geared towards like teens or university sims. The build ended up looking so cool today. I can't wait to get into it. But first we have a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Monopoly Go. We've all heard of Monopoly, you know, that timeless game where you can escape into the world of a zillionaire, earn Monopoly money, make friends and even enemies. With Monopoly Go, you can do all of that without the board game flipping and cleanup. Monopoly Go brings the fun of Monopoly to mobile. It combines that classic Monopoly atmosphere with modern gameplay and exciting visuals tailored to your phone. You can use all your Monopoly money to build an empire, by collecting properties, building houses and hotels, drawing chance cards, exploring new boards, and more. I absolutely love the variety of the maps in this game. Some of them are even themed after world famous cities. The gameplay is fun whether you want to play alone, with friends, or with other fellow tycoons around the world. And they are always adding new daily events and rewards to keep things interesting. While I was playing, I came across this event called Board Rush, which only lasted 24 hours, but the goal was to complete my current board before the timer ended and I completed this event in time and got some massive rewards. Look at all of that Monopoly money and I also got a bunch more free rolls so that I could keep playing. So are you ready to buy, sell, and become, become a, tycoon? a tycoon? Download Monopoly Go now by clicking the link down in my description or by scanning the QR code on screen. Thank you so much to Monopoly Go for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. So we'll be building here in the crumbling Isle of Windenburg. So this is going to be the lot that we're building on today. It's a 40 by 30 lot. And when we do the tiny home challenges, I like to make sure they're laid out in a cool way. So we're gonna raise this thing up on multiple platform heights. I'm starting off with just a regular flooring piece and we're gonna raise that up on a foundation. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that and put that like one tile behind it. I'm gonna make this one quite a bit bigger so we could have one castle like up on this one. And I'm gonna raise that one up higher than the height that I just made. So normally you can't connect these properly like because they're different heights. So what we're gonna do is just make a cool little stair bridge. I'm gonna add water underneath this. It's gonna be a whole thing. We'll also add our stairs leading to the bottom. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over to this side, just again, leaving a one tile gap. We're gonna raise it up even higher. And then again, just attaching the stairs on there. So I'll have one castle in the middle. One's gonna be over to the side. And then maybe I'll extend some platforms over here just to make it look a little more interesting. I'm gonna extend that out one more time and now we have a base for where we're gonna build our castles. Next I'm gonna take a stilt foundation. I like just using the ones from base game so we're gonna add that onto those and I'm gonna use some of the new castle fencing just around all of these boxes now. We're gonna also add on some platform paint just to kind of blend it all together and for now we're just gonna add castle flooring all over the whole thing. Okay so now that we have our base I'm gonna go ahead and build like a pond underneath. So just using my terrain tool, I'm adding water underneath all of this. I just feel like it makes it a lot cooler if you have like the stilt foundation with water under it. We'll raise up the water under there. And just as a final thing before we even build anything here, I'm gonna open up debug so we can add some rock landscaping. I think I'm just gonna use different variations of base game rocks today. And I'm just gonna add them underneath and around the foundation that I built. You can even page down into the basement and place rock rocks underneath this way. That way I can get the rocks actually underneath the foundation because you can't really do that up above. It's just gonna wanna go on top. So finally, with all of our rocks added, this is what it's looking like for our base. Now we can go ahead and build our shells and I think I'm gonna go left to right. So for the first shell, I'm gonna start off just by building a rectangle. I'm gonna bring out the front a little bit, but we're gonna shape it out. Actually, we might have to make this a little bigger. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So on this side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. And then I think I wanna make those front parts 
parts there are balconies. So I'm just building up like leaving space on those two shapes there. And then in the back, we have to bring in a castle aspect. So I'm gonna add some towers back here. But that's gonna be our first shell. And let's make this one for, this one can be for the paragons. So they're like the preps basically. Their bio reads, it takes work to look this good. Perfection isn't easy, but everyone needs someone to look up to. That's why we have the paragons. Their activities include being mean to the renegades, drinking coffee and trying on outfits. This one, like all of the other ones we're gonna do today is invite only, so it's exclusive. Get Together also has like their club flags. So you could change this depending on whatever you wanted to be here. But this is the one that represents the paragons. Let's build the next one right next to it. And I kind of want to cause a little bit of trouble, just a little bit of drama. I want to make the renegades right next to them. <laughs> this is gonna probably cause some issues because they hate each other. But maybe this is an alternate universe where they don't hate each other yet. Maybe this could be like the start of the feud. Maybe something slowly happens here, like the renegades start pranking the paragons and then the paragons start pranking the renegades and it just kind of snowballs from there. So this one is going to be for the renegades or like the punks, I guess. Their activities include be mean to paragons, be mischievous to everyone and sabotage objects. And then over here as our mediator, this is going to be the party house. The party house activities include drinking bar drinks, being romantic with everyone and dancing. And maybe they're always trying to throw parties in like an attempt to smooth things over between everybody. They're like the peacekeepers. All they wanna do is have a good time. And I'm actually building their house in a very specific way. This is the real party house in The Sims 4. It was made before like builders took over creating lots for the sims and it shows however it is iconic like this is where they all live in this club so i kind of want to make a tiny version of this where we keep the shell similar just smaller so we've got this part kind of replicating the shell and then on top of there i'm just gonna do one big rectangle and this one is going to be the party house okay we're gonna quickly add some wallpaper here and then we're gonna try and roof it so i'm gonna go lighter for the paragons we're gonna go darker for the renegades obviously. And party house is going to be somewhere in the middle. So for the roofing for the party house, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these fences from the castle kit. I think we're also going to apply that to the top of the renegades here so they can each have like a rooftop hangout. And then over here, we're going to add the fencing for these balconies. We'll add round roofing for the octagon pieces. So just pulling that up and then I'm just going to copy and paste that onto any octagon that I've placed. I think we'll just keep it consistent and do black roofing all the way around. We'll do hipped roofing on top of the paragons. Then we'll just clean it up there with a gabled roof piece. We've got a diagonal gabled roof piece for the renegades. And then for the party house, we're just gonna do these tiny little like one tile wide half hipped roof pieces. And I'm just gonna put those all along all of these points. So our roofing is done. I've also added trim going around. And I'm also using this grass flooring to just kind of carve out some spots. Just cause I'm not technically on the ground, I have to like make my own grass. So we're actually gonna change the flooring type to this triangle piece, which all you have to do to do that is click control F. And that way I can just make like an interesting pattern leading around. And then when we add landscaping, this is just how we're gonna do it without putting it like on the concrete. So next up we're gonna do windows and doors. And I think these are all gonna be pretty similar. The only thing I'm really gonna do is add them in different swatches. But then for the windows, just to keep it all consistent, I might just do like the same swatches. So I'm using these smaller ones, obviously for the towers. I'm placing bigger ones like these along the sides. I've got a door leading up to the renegade's rooftop. And then for this one here, I've added a ladder with like a secret bookshelf leading to that entryway. Okay, our windows are all complete. And now for the fun part, I wanna start doing their own outdoor areas. So I've started adding these string lights just like in between these fences. And we're gonna make this one big party area up top. So up top, we are definitely adding a bar. We'll of course add a dance floor and I'm gonna put a DJ booth like outside. I think I'm gonna put one actually over to this side. I wanted to leave this big space empty so they could throw a party down here too. So up top, what if we did a busking station? It can even just be this crappy one from City Living and they could either hire someone or they could come up here and do it themselves. It could just be like a fun little space where they come and drink and dance basically. <laughs> I'm also gonna add these little boxes with blankets on them so they could come up here and like sit there if they wanted to. And since their thing is like being romantic, 
romantic, we're definitely going to be adding the VIP buckets. So here is their first party space on the rooftop. This is probably just going to be for their own members because down here is where I want to have like the parties of the entire property. So we're adding one of these right above the DJ booth. I'm gonna add another cardboard box dance floor right in front of it. We'll add a big table for them where they can sit and like drink, I guess. I'll add a barbecue nearby. We'll add a wahoo bush since they are romantic. And maybe we can add another bar down here, but like one of these or even the one with the lights on it. Yeah, this one is perfect. I'm not gonna add any chairs. Maybe I'll just put it like over to this side so you could just walk up to it and grab a drink. Also anywhere that I have these harsh lines, I'm gonna separate them off with like some hay just or grass or something just so it doesn't look so harsh. For the renegades outdoor area, I'm actually gonna add a graveyard just to kind of, you know, give a bad impression of the place. Like you don't wanna be here. Look at all these graves. But then up top, I picture them all just like sitting up here and plotting, just kind of chilling together. Maybe they're too cool for the parties most of the time. So they come up here and like watch from here. So I'm gonna add a fire pit for them. I'm gonna put a table over here and we're gonna get the voodoo doll. <laughs> voodoo. This can be unlocked once you like level up in the mischief skill, but you can also just get it from debug and build mode. So we'll put a couple of these and maybe since they have such a good view of the party spot there, they use these on people at the party. I'm also gonna give them a telescope just because I love the idea that like people who are meant to be like bad boys or whatever are actually super smart. So maybe they get their logic skill up using that. I'm also adding a cooler up here. Maybe there's some clutter like on the ground and this is going to be our renegades rooftop. And I'm also just gonna go super extra with these flags. Like this is meant to be a clubhouse. It's meant to represent. So we're just gonna go super extra with all of these. And finally, we need something for the Paragons. Their hangout is actually the pool in Windenburg and I don't have room for one of those, but I can add a hot tub for them. And also they love to get coffee. So I was picturing like cafe tables for them up here. And we can search through debug and try and find some like coffee cups. Oh, there's bubble tea. I feel like this was before high school years, but I definitely feel like they would be drinking the bubble tea. I love bubble tea. Now I really want one. All right, so this is what everything is looking like after the landscaping and the final details. You can see I added way more flags. I added in some trees, some plants. Down here at the front, I wanted to add something. So we've got another dance floor. We have a keg. We also have a stereo. And I added a bunch of these Discovery University like solo cups around everywhere. For the party house, I also added a game table here for them. I also added more little lights back here. And I'm excited about this. I feel like the castles look so good up there like that. I'm really happy we did the different foundation heights here. Okay, let's start furnishing the insides. And we're gonna start over here with the paragons. I'm again gonna bring in their flags and everything we furnish in here is gonna be based off of like their flags color scheme. They also have things like rugs to represent their flag. And I feel like the paragons would be all about gossip. So I'm gonna make a little like seating area for them. I'm gonna layer a bunch of rugs and add like pillows and beanbag chairs. We've got these ones we can use from high school years. I was thinking also maybe these pillows. We can do some ottomans over here. So that's our little gossip space. And I'm not really planning on making Sims like live here. Although I want to give them the chance that they could stay over if they wanted to. And since these ones are all about coffee, I want to give them like a whole kitchen area. So I'm going to use these counters from Dream Home Decorator. We're going to make them an island and we're going to give them the espresso machine with the grinder. We'll have a whole coffee display here. I'm actually going to use these tables here from Tiny Living combined with this like bar table. And then on top of there, we can add the heart cookies. Maybe they pick these up on a coffee run. And Country Kitchen has these like coffee bean canisters. Oh yeah, and we even have these club banners. I love that you can deck out the club spaces in like obnoxious decor. <laughs> and since their flag is the butterfly, Kids Room stuff has these butterfly lights, which they actually light up. They're not located under the lighting category, but I'm gonna add these going along these walls just like that. And then maybe just because I have room, I'm gonna add a computer over here. We'll use a desk from high school years, maybe a pastel pop computer with a pastel pop chair. So this is going to be like our living room area for the Paragons. They can gossip, they can drink their coffee, spill the tea, do whatever they gotta do. I also built a bathroom over here for them. Again, just in case they need to stay over, if they spend the night, they 
having a shower after the hot tub. They've got that option. And then going upstairs, I've kind of sectioned off this area here so that I can add a bedroom, again, just in case. But another thing they love to do is try on outfits. So I'm gonna add these here from high school years and we're gonna build a massive closet room, basically. We can use these ones here to hang actual clothes. Like they just clip right on in there. And then I was thinking about making an island space like right in the middle. So I'm gonna combine these counters here from Island Living. And Laundry Day actually has these folded shirts hidden in Debug. So I'm gonna add a couple of these just like laid out. We can add clutter items like makeup, perfume, nail polish. I also have room for a clothing rack over here. And of course, we're gonna have to add a bunch of mirrors. So I'm adding these ones from Spa Day. I'm also gonna add a stand-up mirror. And I was thinking about adding actual laundry. So we're just gonna add the stackable ones right here with a couple hampers. So with all of the little details added, this is our closet room. I love the little shoes in those shelves. All of the clutter we've got going on. This is what it looks like over to this side. I added some purse clutter, some shoe boxes. I added some purses on the wall over there. And the only thing I need to do up here is now a bedroom. I think for them, I'm just gonna add some bunk beds. So we'll just do two matching ones there like that. I'm adding a table, another mirror to this side, and maybe some more clutter like perfume, hair dryer. So this is how our bedroom turned out. Nothing too fancy, just a couple places to sleep. And then for the towers, what I've done for each of them is added in like this stolen voodoo doll, which maybe one of them stole it from the renegades. And they're basically plotting their revenge up here. So we've got like a blueprint. I added one of their flags and put this like flower wreath around it. Like they're kind of trying to trash their flag and they're gonna perform some kind of revenge voodoo up here. <laughs> so the Paragon's house is all complete. Now we're moving on to the Renegades. So the Renegades are getting a totally opposite vibe. We're gonna go more punk with this one. Everything's gonna be all dark. A lot of emphasis on skulls. So I'm just giving them a mini fridge. We've got an oven over to this side. Our sink can be here and they can use that counter spot for prep. Their dining table can be here and this is where they can do some like plotting. And I was looking at the mischief skill in The Sims 4 and like the different mischievous interactions you can have. And a lot of them are focused on like online stuff. Like it's funny to me that a lot of the mischief skill focuses on like just being an internet troll. Like they have the troll the forums interaction, which is like, I feel like just them going on Reddit. So we'll give them a couple computers here, maybe some chairs from Get Famous. But I was also thinking of giving them some like music stuff. Like I can give them some guitars. There's also the amps from Moschino. And I think Werewolves has some good posters we could use for this aesthetic. Like those ones can work in the corner. We also have this here. Maybe I'll put that like right here. I also feel like a dartboard could work. So maybe I'll put that like right on this wall. I'm gonna add some shelves from Nifty Knitting. So this is how the main floor for the Renegades turned out. I love the music area back there. I added a stereo. I also added some more posters, a bunch of the skulls going on. Oh, and I found these backpacks. They have the skulls on them, like same as this lunchbox here. We've got the dartboard over here. And then for the bathroom, this one is actually bigger than the Paragon. So I was able to add a shower and we also have a bathtub. And then going upstairs, up here, I was thinking about adding some like worn furniture. Like I was thinking about this from Werewolves. Also these old chairs here from the basement kit. Like maybe they just found this stuff somewhere or stole it from their families. I'm gonna use this traveler's trunk from the basement kit as a coffee table. Another mischievous interaction they can do is use the air horn. So I'm gonna add that from Debug. I'm adding some more solo cups with a red light here from Get Famous. I'm using these skull lights here from Spooky Stuff and I'm just gonna size them down and make like string lights out of them. So they're just going along there like that. And then I have some roofing coming into this room here. I cannot get rid of it. I've like sectioned off the room, rebuilt it, which like usually gets rid of the roofing. So I think instead I'm just gonna hide it. I'm gonna put a bookshelf right in front. I'm adding just one black bed. This one is from Horse Ranch. And also from Spooky Stuff, we have this skull rug, which I think I'm just gonna put right under the bed. And with a little bit more decor added, this is what the upstairs of the Renegades is looking like. I really love this room here. I love how like run down it looks. I added some more get together posters and some more skull backpacks. I also added another stereo over there with just some matching like decor. And I have a tablet here just in case they wanna cause some internet mischief. And then over for the bedroom, I used these streamers here. These are from Seasons and they actually have tiny little skulls on them. They're perfect for this bedroom.
bedroom, so we've got that. I added a mirror, just a little candle next to the bed, and of course, some more Renegades decor. And finally, we're going to go next door and do the party house. And I think I'm actually gonna start on the upstairs, and this is gonna be kind of easy. Part of their thing is to be romantic, so obviously we're gonna need a full bed in here. This is gonna give off maybe like hotel vibes. I want a blue tint in here, so I'm gonna use these lava lamps. We'll add their flag. And then over to this side, we're going to add a vintage glamour bar in the corner with a blue high top table from high school years. And this is where like the hotel vibe comes into play. There's like a whole bar table in your bedroom for some reason. I'm also gonna add the VIP bucket in this room and I'm feeling just a bunch of like neon. Like we can add any blue neon we can find. Maybe some tiny living pictures. This is probably the last bedroom I would ever want to be in. <laughs> like if you ever see a bedroom like this, just run, just run. But this is our party house bedroom. It's giving like frat house a little bit, but we've got everything in here. We've got the bed, we've got the bar, the VIP bucket. We've got the hallway leading up to the upstairs party place. And then downstairs, I think I'm gonna give them a smaller kitchen as well. So we'll just do like some counters here. Again, mini fridge that probably just has like drinks in it. Maybe I'll give them the tabletop oven as well. I'm gonna add some graffiti in here. Maybe another keg in the corner. Discovery University cubs everywhere with juice in them, by the way. It is The Sims. I'm adding a table over here with some vintage glamour like trays, maybe some vintage glamour decanters on here. And I'm kind of tempted to just put like sleeping bags in here. <laughs> Although I don't really want it to like get in the way of other stuff. Like I was gonna put two. So maybe I'll just add their rug with some more beanbag chairs and some speakers over here from Spot A. And there we have our party house living room. We've got the beanbag chairs, the keg, our makeshift kitchen, some stereos. And then over in the bathroom, I just kept it kind of simple. We've got our shower there, a toilet, a sink. This whole place is going to be a disaster. The fact that this is the mediator between those two feuding houses is kind of crazy. But I think this lot turned out so cool. I hope you guys like this video today. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.